otherwise it looks like you have your Pokemon card binder with you. I, I'm quite the collector myself, so I couldn't help myself. I had to come over and ask if I could take a look. You don't mind? Oh, are you sure? Oh, awesome, okay. Uh, Leah, let me come around to your side of the table. One sec. Okay, hopefully you don't mind me kind of leaning over your shoulder here. It's just the best way I can to, uh, to get a good look at your cards here. I could tell you were a serious collector from across the room when I saw your Ultra Pro collector album. These are great. You can tell by that sound that the quality is there and it's these just hold the card so snugly I could tell that you were serious. So I can only imagine the types of cards you have in there. Is this your your main set here or oh these are just some randoms you have. Okay, yeah, great. So awesome. Uh, do you mind if I look inside? Great. I can't wait. I love looking at cards. Oh, wow. Wow, it looks like you have a nice mix of older and newer cards. Wait a minute. Is that... Is this the error Kangaskhan? No way. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yeah. It appears to be base set, but in fact, this card was, as you know, only printed in the jungle set originally so without the set marker this tricked a lot of people into thinking it was a a base set card wow that's that's awesome i i don't know how rare that is but i just i don't see it that often sometimes people really overlook it because they just think it's a regular king is gone you've even got wow dark for alligator from is that Neo Destiny? Now that, that's a rare set. That's not easy to collect. That's great. The artwork on that is fantastic. It looks like you've got some newer cards in here too. We've got, oh my, I love these Pikachu reprints, the old style Pikachu, surfing Pikachu V. Now were the, yeah, I can tell there, these were the 25th anniversary prints. That's awesome. Garchomp C level X. Yeah, these were great. This was the Diamond and Pearl sets, right? Once again, these you have a lot of the 25th anniversary cards here. That's great. The Prime reprints. We've got the Don Fan Prime. Now that was an original Prime card. That's great. And then you've got this nice Dragapult Prime. It's it's cool that they took a newer card as awesome as Dragapult and made a prime card out of it. That's great. And then we've got, oh, this is awesome. Dark Sylveon V. That is a great card there. Oh, man. Look how awesome that Sylveon looks. Kind of mischievous. Got the dark kind of vibe to it. And then once again, they make that. You don't see a lot of dark cards anymore. So the fact that they made one, but with the new full art v cards that is awesome oh and then you're just classic rocket zapdos that is great and it's so cool how they changed the hollow foil that way you know besides just the 25th anniversary logo you can still tell it's a reprint due to the the hollow foil wow that's cool great page one i have to tell you do you care if I come over to the other side of the table so I can kind of get a closer look at that? All right, great, one second. Oh man, these are awesome. Oh, you've got another one of those 25th anniversary cards. You have quite a few of those. That's the Luxray level X. Oh man, I love how they added all the hollow foil text and borders there that's great oh and then more neo destiny sets we've got this light azomero to go with your dark for alligator that's that is awesome i loved that set it just was so unique at the time light and dark i don't know if we've ever seen another light light card i could be wrong but oh and you've got the miracle energy from that from that set as well that is great oh these arceus cards 
are fantastic. You've, it looks like you've got two of them. You've got the steel type and the psychic type. Those are awesome. Now, didn't they create one for like almost every type? I thought they did. I've seen, I know I've seen the water type one. And they all have this kind of circular pattern on them. Great cards. We have Toga Kiss. Oh, that's awesome. I love some of these older. I think it, a lot of it was in the Diamond and Pearl series, but they sort of put in their level up here next to the name, which is cool. Jirachi. That's awesome. Oh, here's one of your newer cards. That's your uh, Malamar. Full art. That's awesome. That's great. Oh, now these are unique. I think these are on sale now. I don't know if it's the same print, but they have, I saw some Halloween booster packs in stores the other day. This is, I believe, from a year or two ago, that hollow Trevenant. <laughs> you can see the little pumpkin Pikachu. That's awesome. Yeah, those are great. Oh man, I've got to come back over to that side. Get a closer look at some of these. Oh, I've got that 25th anniversary Mew. That's great. What's this? Oh, Rampardos. Man, look at that hollow on that. Some of these older, especially Diamond and Pearl, they had some really bright hollow foils. You can see how much that shines. I think this Metagross is similar. Look at that. Man, you really, you really enjoyed these galaxy type hollow foil. There's a nice swirl in there too. I can tell a lot of your cards have that pattern. I can tell that was something you were a big fan of. We've got two Giratina cards here, both hollow. That one's a little, one of, a little bit of one of those darker hollows you can't really see as well. But this one's, this one's pretty nice. We've got a nice Miss Magnus. That's Oh man, that is so cool. All right. Oh, we've got Squirtle 25th anniversary. This is, I forgot what they call that hollow foil. Maybe it's, maybe it's like pixel, the pixel hollow foil. It's kind of like those small little squares. Oh, those are so great. Yeah, really bright. Ooh, and we've got a Duralodon. I love Duralodon from the newer, newer series great hollow this i can tell was a promo because the actual cards from this set they don't have the galaxy hollow foil only the promos do that you would usually find in the front of the you know like dual packs that you would buy in store oh and we've got another nice halloween edition with that pumpkin pikachu there gore guys that's great all right, back to that other side. Oh, I can already tell you've got some really old cards here. Wait a minute, is this a McDonald's promo? Oh, look at that, it is. You can tell because all of these McDonald's promos had that pixel hollow. That's, that's funny. You've got some damaged cards here, wow. We've got two Japanese cards, but those have seen some absolute wear. Yeah, that one's almost falling apart. This thing is ancient. Same with this Rockets Moltres. It's funny because you can tell that for some reason a lot of the Japanese cards had some of the brightest hollow foils. Look at that Moltres. That is great. We've got some more. You can see what I mean by these hollow foils. These Japanese hollow foils, especially that Heracross. What a great card with the pincer showing up in there and you've got another heavily damaged Erica's Vile Bloom. Oh, Japanese. Where'd you get your hands on so many Japanese cards? I don't, I don't know. It's crazy that these fairy type Pokemon don't even exist anymore. That's wild. That Carbink. I wasn't a big fan of these types of hollows. This kind of just like, I don't know, reflective hollow. It wasn't my favorite like with this Gudra, but you know, it's kind of, it's got an appeal to it. I can see that people would like it. Oh man, what is that over there? Are those detective? Yeah, these are crazy. 
this had some of those reflective hollows too. You can see that magic arp there. That movie is kind of like a guilty pleasure. It's it's not great, but nothing wrong with it. It's just simple fun. Oh, we've got a nice promo. Looks like a Pokemon card league promo card. You can tell by the badge there, the stamp given to players at a Pokemon tournament. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to be quiet. The library here is pretty strict about that kind of stuff. We got Exad too. Oh man. If only you knew Smargle was one of my favorite Pokemon. We've got some looks like Heart Gold Soul Silver era cards. Yeah, this is a Call of Legends. I like these. I like these Smeargle. They're really cool. I don't remember what set this one's from, but that's a great card. Oh, we've got another Pokemon League card with the stamp there. That's awesome. Oh, we've got some Team Plasma cards here. Yeah, you can tell, obviously, by that little shield emblem there. This is when they went to that kind of straight, horizontal line, hollows. It looks great on this ditto. Wow. It's kind of got that rainbow color in the background. That is really bright. Oh, man, that is an awesome Dusknoir Halloween card. That is awesome. That's great. I like how even the pumpkin Pikachu has a hollow foil. That is awesome. You don't see a lot of hollow foil trainers that are pretty good to look at, but I will say these horizontal hollows do actually look pretty nice with the trainer cards. You've got XP share, first ticket, super rod, you have Getsis, that's awesome. Togekiss, looks like you've got Slacking. You know, just looking at your cards, maybe I was wrong. These are kind of growing on me a bit. Got a nice reverse hollow of that same Smurgle. Got a hollow foil. That one's kind of tough to see. That Neo King there. Japanese Togetic. Once again, those Japanese cards have just the brightest hollow foil there. Ooh, we've got a Salamance. It's my first hollow Salamance I've seen in a while. Some Japanese Kingdra. What an awesome Pokemon Kingdra is. Just kind of came out of nowhere at that time. You did not expect Seedra to have an evolution. I'll say it again. Those Japanese cards have absolutely the best Galaxy Holofoils. Nice Staraptor. Really good swirl right there. Yeah. Oh, these were crazy. I forgot all about these. Yeah, these like legend cards you that like you took like a second card and attached it to the bottom those were wild i almost forgot those were even a thing kind of weird but yeah funny Ooh, i've got to come over there and look at those i saw that latios and here's your latios nice mixture there second gudra gudra is a really underrated pokemon it looks pretty good with that card a nice promo craniodose applin applin was a cool pokemon you've got you were really really uh, active in those pokemon leagues i see another stamped spirit tomb here for alligator there's another fusion strike pokemon oh you've got some radiant cards these kind of shining these new form of shining cards radiant man that looks really cool in this library lighting yeah, I like that kind of like cross-stitch pattern on these Sneezlers and Charger Bug. That is really cool. Wait a minute. Those aren't... Oh, no way. Yes, I have not seen these in so long. Wow, these are the Pokemon the first movie cards. Yeah, you've got Pikachu's Vacation, that little like short film at the beginning. These were so awesome because they showed like scenes from the movie. And as a kid, if you hadn't seen the movie, you just looked at these and were just like, how awesome must that movie be? Do you remember? I don't know if you were around when this happened, but they showed Don Fan in like the opening credits of the Pokemon, the first movie. And at that time, 
the only second generation Pokemon that we had seen was Ho-Ho in the United States. And we didn't even know what Ho-Ho's name was. We just saw this unconfirmed Pokemon. And Donphan was like the first one we saw in battle. And it it's like it just... At the time, if the internet was around, it would have been a break the internet moment for Pokemon fans and instantly made Dawn fan one of my favorite Pokemon. Really cool moment. And these cards were really cool because they had like a nice like explanation of the scene, as you can see, with even more artwork. So just really cool to collect. Wow. Yeah. I don't know how you got your hands on these. Got a couple more here. Oh, and we've got just the actual Pokemon trading card game. Or the trading cards. Um, man, those are great. These are like these little cutout Pokemon trivia cards. They had so many different like merchandised cards at the time. It was wild. And you can really get deep down the rabbit hole of collecting when it comes to these cards. That is so cool. I like how you kept all of these. Yeah, and once again, look at that. They have their own artwork on the back. It's almost like a whole new card there on the back of that Arbok card. It's like a completely different scene from the movie. Those are great. Oh, wow. You have the Cardos cards. These have to be some of the most unique Pokemon artwork you can get on a card. This is like as original as it gets. This is like when the Pokemon was first created and you have kind of these old, really like animalistic type depictions of the Pokemon. Some of my favorite ways to look at Pokemon. Yeah, and it has these like realistic kind of stances like Starmie shooting the water and the drill peck from Pharaoh. You've never seen it look like that before. The Bomer Bonerang from Marowak. That is really cool. And these cards have really cool information on the back. It has like some stats and what level it evolves. I mean, that is, you don't see that a lot now. That is cool. And I like for the fully evolved Pokemon like this. It says no data, which is strange because it has data for Pharaoh here. So I don't know what that's all about. Oh, it looks like you have some more here. Wheezing. And you just get to see some like kind of different looks of these Pokemon. Like you see the smog around Wheezing. That's really cool. You've got some other Pokemon like Swalot there. Really cool action shot of Hitmonlee. Oh, you've got a nice Keldeo there. Is that hollow? Oh yeah, that is. Look at that. Look how bright that is. Oh, I forgot that they reprinted this light card. I'm so glad they did that. Because they did the Dark Sylveon. They did the light Toxicity. Or I guess it's Toxtricity. I always have a hard time with that one. That is a really cool card. It's sitting there playing music for the Oddish in classic light Pokemon form. Oh, and wow, you have a hollow foil Pokemon the first movie card. The, the scene where they swim to Mewtwo's island. Wow, that is really cool. Oh, you've got a couple more. Wow, you really went in on the super on the super rods. Nice Metagross there. Landorus. That is so cool. I love how it says no evolution. Not anymore. Still, still similar for Hitmonlee. You know, I'm really surprised they never came out with Mega Evolutions for Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Oh, and you have those awesome Tops cards. You only have one here, but still, these Tops cards are really cool to collect, but they've become quite expensive. You wouldn't think it, but once again, they have really cool information about the Pokemon there on the back, including its number, its type, uh, and just kind of like a preview of, you can see a preview of Lapras there. Yeah, those are really cool. And they have some cool hollows as well. That's awesome. Yeah, you have, and you said this is just, these are just your random cards? What? Well, I can only imagine your main sets. So do you usually 
have them just kind of randomized like this or do you organize them according to like set and stuff like that you organize uh, by set a lot of classic collectors do that so you'll have like base set in one binder and fossil in the other. and the that's good yeah i think that you see that a lot with collectors from you know the older generations but i like your your mix of of newer cards that's really cool i hope you don't mind me kind of handling the sleeves like this i'm assuming your really expensive cards are you know more protected right yeah no, i figured i figured you wouldn't have them with you just kind of hanging out if they were your prized possessions yeah even though these are damaged that erica's dragon hair is so What's so weird is that, yeah, you know exactly what I'm going to say. They never made a Erica's Dragonite. Yeah, someone should really make that card, because why would you stop with Dragonair, especially one that looks so amazing like that? I don't know, really odd choice. I can't think of another Pokemon that they stopped with just the middle evolution for Holofoil. Once again, yeah, I really like the Geralodon. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really impressed. And I just, I like how you have all these 25th anniversary cards. Yeah, hey, well, I really appreciate you letting me take a look here. Yeah, these were awesome. So, if I see you around here again, um, please, you know, next time you come in, bring your bring your cards. And if I see you, I'll stop by and, and take a look. This was a nice blast from the past and, and the present. So, hey, yeah, it's great to meet you. Have a good day.